Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the rabbit hole, and welcome to a haul follow-up, specifically on sales. I'm finally gonna be sharing with you some thoughts on products I bought in the Sephora sale, some products I bought in random Ulta sales, GMA deals as well. This is going to be a video on Western brands, and I'm gonna be talking about skincare as well as fragrance today. I don't know if we've talked about this before, but summer fragrance is my favorite category. Beachy smells, coconut smells, oh, this is my season for fragrance. Timestamps and links are in the description box below as always if you would like to jump around. I am gonna bring a little bit of PR into this video that is relevant. For example, we'll talk about beauty stat products today as they just popped up on GMA deals as well. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I'll start with my Sephora VIB sale haul. So I did already talk about the Danessa Myricks Moisture Repair Balm Serum. I am still loving this. This is one of those products where I am so glad I bought this. I don't wanna to spend too much time on this because I did already talk about this in a video, but really quickly, I was reading through some reviews the other night and I saw people saying that they don't understand what this is for. And it really reminded me that, you know, just because a product is really popular, just because everyone is saying they love it, doesn't necessarily mean that it's for you. So let me stress what this is for. This is for those of you with very dry skin. This is an oil-based product. For those of us that don't really know what it would be like to have oil on your skin, what would that, what would that feel like? A lot of foundations and powder products are made more for normal skin, which is gonna have a better balance of oil production, whereas if you are very dry, those are the kind of products that can really be hard for us. Using this has opened up a whole world of possibilities. Products that I just couldn't use because they did not work for my skin. I add a layer of this, a thin layer, and now I can use them. And let's also talk about this Dr. Idris, the Depuffer Roll-On Serum. Just like I was saying, with the Danessa Myricks and how it's for a specific audience, this is another one of those kind of products. So let me explain what it is. First off, it is a redness reducing serum. She has added ingredients such as Arnica. I feel like there's been a lot of focus on the Arnica in this, but there are other ingredients that are targeting redness, that are targeting irritation in the skin. It's meant to be a calming serum. And as a redness reducing calming product, she put it in this packaging. This is my favorite roller packaging. You've got your cooling metal tip that does roll across your skin, but you also have an off on mechanism. So you twist it to turn it on, twist it again to turn it off. And what that allows you to do, the reason I like this so much, is that you can then take a cloth, spray it down with some isopropyl alcohol and wipe this down if you want to sanitize it. Products are always made with preservatives. So I don't want you to feel like you have to worry about this, but if you are somebody who is going to want to clean your applicator, you can. With the point of this being, it is a redness reducing, irritation reducing product. Now, this is exactly why I love it, exactly. I talk about this all the time, but a lot of my skin issues stem from being prone to irritation. And this Arnica ingredient that she has included in here I have to admit to you, it's been a favorite ingredient for me for a long, long time. It's tried and true for me, but I do wanna say it doesn't work for everyone. It is really important to know, uh, you know, like with any skincare ingredient, things work for some people and not for everyone. But I did get to thinking about how funny it is that Dr. Idris and I agree on this ingredient. I love it too. Uh, I, I don't quite agree with her stance on hyaluronic acid. She is a little bit more uh, mm, day and night than I would be with hyaluronic acid. But the irony here is that while I don't think hyaluronic acid is inherently a bad ingredient, I'm still tired of it. <laughs> I'm tired of it. It's an ever. Why do I need hyaluronic acid in everything? <laughs> so I'm kind of excited to find, a, you know, a whole brand that avoids hyaluronic acid. Not because I avoid it, but because I just don't need any more in my routine. <laughs> and I think I do want to have a bit more of a conversation here. This is this is a very controversial conversation incoming. 
But I think about it all the time. This might be a, a prime time for me to share this with you. One thing I think about a lot is that, you know, every one of us that is talking about skincare products, we are all always sharing our opinions. I've noticed something very interesting with the, the doctors and dermatologists that create content here on YouTube and on other platforms. I feel like in a lot of ways, they aren't as good at emphasizing when things are their opinion. See, that sounds bad. Stay with me, stay with me. For example, how Dr. Idris feels about hyaluronic acid, the reason dermatologists do disagree on this, why some other dermatologists love that ingredient, is because it's an opinion. And here's the take home here. I got to thinking about how you need this in doctors. You need this really strong stance in your doctor. <laughs> By which I mean, you actually want your doctor to have a strong conviction about the medications, the treatments that they give you. You don't really want a doctor who is gonna be over here going, hmm, well, I, I think this is the best, but you know, that's only my opinion. <laughs> no, they're your doctor. They need to be the kind of person that is gonna say, this is what we're doing to treat you. So don't get me wrong, I love my dermatologist here on YouTube. I, and I, I love how, I really love how people have different perspectives coming into talking about products, talking about skincare. For example, the channel you are watching right now might have an undergraduate degree in psychology and as such might be exactly the kind of person who would be over here thinking about this topic. <laughs> Let's move on to talking about some Ulta products. So I really wanna update you all on this. I bought this in the, the Love Your Skin event. It has taken me such a long time to decide how I feel about this and now we are finally there. I know how I feel about this. I originally liked it. You know, this is a system where you get this pump. So you pump out the product and then you can spread it with this metal tip. Nifty idea, it worked kind of well, pulled a, a little bit, but not too bad. And overall, I liked the cooling tip sensation. This is a video of cooling metal tips, isn't it? <laughs> but I also didn't love it. It was almost as if I could see the potential, but I wanted more. I wanted just a somewhat improved system here. I wanted somewhat improved ingredients. And so what happened? The K-Beauty brands have come through with this system. This is the Tear Tear Eye Cream. We'll be talking about this soon. As soon as I figure out what to do with the Michaela Birkin situation, I did not sign up to have that conversation in reviewing Tear Tear. That was apparently my gift with purchase. With this system, you get a rolling metal ball in here, but that's not all. My problem with the old roller system is you just didn't get a lot of product out when that's all you had. So they combined that with the pump and whoa have you seen the ingredients on some of these products i will finally follow up on the axis y eye serum very soon very soon so it was a bit of an interesting evolution here to go from the old school roller ball where not enough product came out i don't even see that that much in fragrance anymore to this we're almost there system to the k beauty brands figuring out how to do it Let's talk about some beauty stat products next. I really wanna update you on the Peptide Wrinkle Relaxing Moisturizer. So I have been using this a lot. Do you see that I haven't made a lot of a dent in this product? That's because I'm only using it on my forehead and right around my eyes. Because given the ingredients in here, given what they may possibly do, see my Argyraline video for more on that conversation, it just doesn't make sense to me to use it anywhere else. <laughs> the peptides in this formula are in the category of neurotransmitter inhibiting peptides. And the idea is that they may act similarly to Botox, asterisk more research is needed, but at the very least, we know that they do act as humectants. The trick is always in figuring out how to make these peptides in a nice, cosmetically elegant product. And I feel like that's what Beauty Stat did so well with this. It's absolutely a beautiful moisturizer, works beautifully under makeup, great under sunscreen, can be used day or night. It is neither too light nor too heavy, really just a gorgeous moisturizer. And again, because it is that standard size of moisturizer, but I'm only using it on my forehead area, this is gonna last me a while. <laughs> So just so you know, because you are not going to see this in an empties for a long time, but I did recently talk about uh, them, this brand being in the GMA deals. I really like Beauty Stat 
as a brand, and I wanted to tell you one more thing about them. They recently sent me the most fascinating PR box. It, it really has me, it has me so excited. It was a whole little experiment, okay? A very simplistic experiment where they said, you know, be at your own cosmetic chemist for a day. But I love the message that they are passing along. It's related to their Universal C Skin Refiner. This is their uh, water-free L ascorbic acid serum. As you all probably know, L ascorbic acid is pure vitamin C, not a vitamin C derivative. That's the form where we see the research on hyperpigmentation, on boosting collagen production, but the catch is it's a very unstable molecule. So what this brand did is they put it in a completely water-free formula. And I think that there seems to be some amount of confusion about pH. Another catch, if you will, with vitamin C in the form of L ascorbic acid is that you need it to be at a lower pH. So they sent out this kit to creators so the creators could get a really good understanding of what this means. In it, they included some pH test strips so you could pump this out onto those pH test strips and you wouldn't see any kind of change. But when you pumped a little bit of this product into water, stirred it up, and then dipped your test strip into that, Lo and behold, now you see a low pH, which is interesting because water has a neutral pH. I absolutely love that they did this because, you know, as somebody who is taught, I know that one of the biggest obstacles, is, at least for children, is they'll often tell themselves, for whatever reason, I, I, can't, I can't learn math. Math is too hard. I, I can't learn science. And I always feel like, no, you can. It's that you need to learn it in a way where you can really see what's happening, where you can really understand, get a good grasp on the topic. And that's why I'm so impressed with this experiment that they put in the hands of creators. And I just feel like once you see it, you understand it. So not only is this something that was sent to creators to then give better information because they understand topics better, but something to share with viewers so now you understand it better as well. I love this. <laughs> Going back to what we were talking about with Dr. Idris, this is a brand that was created by a cosmetic chemist. So of course you have a brand that is all about sharing the chemistry behind the products. <laughs> Isn't it so fun to understand how people's backgrounds play into everything they do? Oh, it is so fun. And we're gonna end our skincare section with some lip products. I have got to tell you how bummed I am. Remember when we talked about the Bioma lip oil and the lip mask? I returned the lip oil. I was not gonna deal with lip oil spilling everywhere. As you saw in that video, it already spilled all over the packaging. So I returned that. I did not return the lip mask because the reviews seemed to suggest that it didn't spill. Mind you, while the product is completely closed, it did for me. I had it on my little nightstand and uh, apparently it fell over. And now my nightstand has a big oil stain on it. And that's why I returned the original. See, I, I still had somebody get mad at me where, when I was talking about returning products. I, I understand why it makes some people frustrated, but at the same time, these brands should do better. That's why I returned the lip oil. I feel like these brands have to get packaging right. And the only way to really effectively send that message is to start returning products. If a product has a big, glaring flaw, return it so the brand can know and do better. This next one is a funny story because when I first got this in, oh, I did not like it. And now I love it. We did a real 180 with this product. This is the Good Light Taste of Space. Taste of Space? Now I know too much about space. It doesn't taste good. Space does not taste good. Taste of Space Lip Milk. I bought this during the 10X AAPI promotion. And when I got it in, I was so excited because I, I love this little brand. They are so cute. They are so reasonably priced. I adore them. But when I got this in, I put it on my lips and I could not believe how much I uh, did not ever want anyone to see me wearing this. <laughs> but see, that was your girl not reading how to use this product. This product is not meant to be a standalone. It's meant to be used for layering. And that's the idea behind it. It is a serum. It does not feel moisturizing to your lips at all, at all. It feels hydrating. So let me tell you, when you put on a lip mask on top of this, wow, it makes such an impact. And I'm even wearing another Lawless product, another Lawless product that I bought in the uh, GMA deals. 
I've got the good light on under this lip balm. That's the Amaretto shade. Beautiful combo works. You know, it doesn't look white now because it's a layering product. <laughs> so it's another strange one, especially if you don't quite know what it is. You can, you know, kind of hate it as I did, but when you know it's a layering product, oh, it's something unique, it's innovative, and it's really hydrating. And again, with that Lawless GMA deals, I bought the Overnight Lip Plumping Mask in the shade Birthday Cake. So I've been a long time fan of Grande Pout. I think it is an incredible formula. It really does help with plumping out your lips, not in that you look like you had lip filler way, but rather in plumping out lines in your lips. The problem with Grande Pout is that it smells funny, it tastes funny, and it's got a little bit of a strange texture to it. This feels like the Grande Pout product 2.0, except there's a catch. <laughs> there's always a catch. It's a lot more expensive. This is a smaller jar, about half the size for, I, I think, $2 less than Grande Pout. <laughs> but let's be honest here. These are the kind of details that matter to some people. Some people do not want that gritty feel in their lip balm. And, you know, you pay more for those kind of quirks to be worked out of a formula. Meanwhile, I'm fine with it because I do follow GMA deals, so I managed to catch the Lawless for 50% off. Therefore, it was basically equal. Let's talk about some fragrance next. I want to start with kind of a, a bit of a throwback here. This is the most recent version of Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess. The brand kindly gifted me this, and I have the old version. I have the version from before this. I'm a very long-running fan of Bronze Goddess. This bottle's so pretty, too. I was not expecting this on the tip. So, the newest version, it definitely has a lot more floral to it than the last version. But otherwise, it really is that familiar bronze goddess smell that I love. I do want to make sure to explain, once again, why I love this so much. Because I, I think this one could be a mixed bag. This is not an eau de parfum. It is a skin scent. So, it is meant to wear very close to your skin. And I think that's not for everyone, but I actually love that characteristic of this. This is one of those fragrances where you get to enjoy it all day long without really subjecting other people to it necessarily, unless they get, you know, really close to you. But I get to enjoy it. That's going to be important with some of these other fragrances I'm reviewing, by the way. And as for the notes in this, again, it's so up my alley. It's a blend of, you've got your coconut, your summery coconut in there, but you also have have citrus. This one is heavy on bergamot. Citrus and coconut is a, a perfect pairing for me. I grew up in Florida and where I grew up specifically really smells like oranges. So you see how it's a very comforting, very familiar smell to me. It reminds me of lovely 85 degree weather, my favorite. <laughs> Florida's been testing my limits lately. We had a 97 degree day, and to that I object. Now you've gone and made it too hot. That's too hot. So needless to say, that's a huge hit for me. Let me actually move on to a, a contrast of that one. So I do like the brand Kayali. I got a mini of the Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar 42. Okay, Kayali as a brand is very strong and very sweet. And with this fragrance, it just feels like the brand went, what if we went even stronger and even sweeter? <laughs> to which I am going, this one might actually be, it might be too much. Now, some of you are going to love it because again, this is one of the most common issues with fragrance is people want it to have, you know, a stronger scent to last longer. Oh, this one will. And don't get me wrong because I am still, I'm determined to wear it. I am determined to wear it, but it's one that I will be wearing on the weekends when I'm not around as many people. Not, not one that I ever plan to wear to work. <laughs> But let's end this video with these two. So I already talked about buying sand in some past Ulta promotion. Ellis Brooklyn sent me Miami Nectar in the full size. I had no idea what I was missing. As I've said, I like to buy the little minis. This is a magnetic lid. It's so nice. I've talked before about Ellis Brooklyn. What I like so much about this brand is I feel that Every scent they do has something that is almost unexpected, unique to it. And with this one, it's almost a, a gourmand beachy scent. You've got the coconut in there, but you've also got pineapple. And it, it feels like it makes this 
kind of pina colada smelling scent. So you get this kind of beachy smell, but it's not limited in that sense. It's something where you, you really could wear it in more settings than you might think from the kind of concept of this. My sweetie has been stealing this from me. It is very much the type of fragrance that she likes, but I'm the one, I'm the genius that came up with a brilliant layering combo and yes, it's these two. So she likes these really strong fragrances and this on its own isn't too strong, stronger than Bronze Goddess, but not too strong. So if you wanna smell beachy and you want everyone around you to smell you smelling beachy and delicious, this combo. And my friends, that brings us to the end of another haul follow-up, another speed reviews. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you all next time.